Hello and welcome. Uh, tonight we are going to create some glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. Okay, we will be using... I'm, I'm trying to... Let's see here. Wait, hold on. Hold on real quick. Alright, so... What we're going to do is I have these wooden pieces that I got from, um, I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby, okay? And my idea is UV resin these and use these as the stems for these mushrooms, all right? Now, I don't have a whole lot of UV resin, um, so this may, I may not be able to complete them. Well, I guess I'll just work on one at a time. Um, but... I need to order more UV resin, that's for sure. Okay, and I need some kind of mixing dishes. I guess I can use these. I'll use these. All right, I suppose. I have to get everything kind of, kind of set up and ready. There we go, we have some glow-in-the-dark powders. This is uh, green, and this one here is azure. So, I do want to create a couple different colors, um, and I want to, um, yeah, let's make some mushrooms, guys. I think I'm, so this is chakra patterns, um, and this one we tried painting, so I won't use that one, but uh, I think I'm going to use this one first. Now, I had an idea that I wanted to see if I could get to work. And so let's give it a whirl. Um, this is actually a formula of UV resin that Paduo sent me to test. Um, and I'm just getting through the last of it, man. I, I, guys, I really like this formula. And I believe that this is the uh, new formula that they're using. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my UV resin. I'm going to pour some glow-in-the-dark powder. And I want these things to glow bright, 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 bright. So we're going to do that. Okay. Let's mix this up. And guys, if you've never used our glow-in-the-dark powders, man, these powders are phenomenal in epoxy resin. Um, they're really forgiving. Uh, you don't have to worry about adding too much. Um, they will not affect the quality of your product. Uh, they're non-toxic. So, um, you know, I get... I got the question on our on our Facebook shop. Somebody said, "Is it edible?" And um, I mean, technically, yeah, it's edible. But should you eat it? Nah, probably not. You don't want your poo to glow in the dark. Um, but they are non toxic, so you can use them. Um, another question that was asked is, "Can they be used in candles?" And the answer is, yes, they can. Uh, you can use these in candles. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my UV light around so it doesn't affect anything that I'm working on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, this is the UV light, 70 watt. Um, if you guys want to link to it, I can give it to you. Um, I do want to, I want to create a clear dome on top. So let's start it off with that. And of course, as with anything else, uh, you need to make sure there's no bubbles. Um, and it looks like I need to grab a toothpick. I don't have a toothpick. Uh, be right back. Oh, wait, here's one. Oh, no. It's not a toothpick. Be right back. So I got a toothpick, I'm just going to get rid of my bubbles, don't want any bubbles in there, especially on a clear dome. Oh 
Oops, I guess I should have turned off my notifications, huh? I always do that. I always forget to do that. And then we get notifications while I'm while I'm working. Okay, there's a couple little bubbles in there. I don't really care about that, I guess. I guess there can be a couple bubbles. Alright. Now, let me go ahead and get that part done. We're going to cure that. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and this. I'm going to pour a little bit in here. And for this, we're going to do the Azure Glow Powder. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add my powder. And like I said, I want this stuff to glow bright. So, used a couple nice sized scoops. And once again, I'm just going to, just going to mix it in. Oops. Let me make it so you guys can see. So, with this, with these glow in the dark powders, uh, I don't know if you can see Instagram, but these glow in the dark powders, you can essentially just make a paste with this, uh, with your epoxy. If you wanted to, you just make a thick, thick, thick paste. Um, you could do 75% powder to 25% resin and it will still come out phenomenal. And in fact, it'll glow super, super bright. Okay, now, I do have to say this. Um, if you think about it, with this amount of glow powder, the UV light's going to have a hard time penetrating down into it. Let me get a good cure on that. So, I'm curing this in here. This is the second run. Um, this is, uh, like I said, 70 watt UV light. Um, and it is just, it works wonderful. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Nice, nice and solid, man. So now, this is the blue. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to spoon out. I'm going to do this in a couple layers, okay? And the reason why is because that UV light's not going to be able to penetrate this whole thing. So, if I do it in thin layers, um, I shouldn't have any issues. So let's go ahead and do that. That, my friends, was uh, the manufacturer in China. When you hear that ding dong, that's, uh, that's them. I, I'm in constant communication with them. On a mirror. Hey, that's a good idea. Thank you, Haley. That is wonderful. I never even thought of that. That is such a great idea. Curing it on a mirror or with a mirror underneath so that the light bounces down and underneath. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm going to get a mirror and uh, try that. No. I don't think I have a small mirror uh, handy around me right now. But, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tip. I thank you so much for that. I'm trying to uh, read the comments. I, I got my phone at a weird-ass angle. Let's see. Let me scroll back through. Do not recommend using rubbing alcohol for the bubbles resin. Yeah, I don't do that on UV resin. Uh, I don't use rubbing alcohol. Um, I've never done that. Um, I use rubbing alcohol on regular resin, and it is a pro tip. So thank you guys for joining me tonight. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, You guys are the reason why I'm here. Uh, you guys, um, you guys keep me going. That's for sure. All right, and here we go. Oh, it's glowing a beautiful blue. All right.
that's good. So now I'm going to do another layer. Okay, another layer. All right, wonder if I should, let's see, I'm thinking, do I want it to go that way or do I want it to go this way? Probably this way, huh? Let's see here. No, no, no. You're my wet. Stop it. no let's cure that. No. All right, and we can go ahead and start working on the next one that I'm going to do. Let's do this one. I'm going to do the same thing here. I am going to. pour a dome on it. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that you have that clear spot at the top that can really, really um, reflect the light, really send that glow in the dark light out there. Um, kind of like a magnifying glass or a, a, a telescope lens. Um, it's going to amplify and magnify that light so that it's really, really, really beautiful. Okay. Now on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the green and I'm going to put little dots. So these are glow in the dark dots that I'm dropping into here. And most likely they're going to sink down to the bottom, which is fine. I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And here we go. All right. Ooh, that is glowing so bright. All right, that's good. I'll go and cure this one. All right, now we're going for the final layer on this. And let's see, let's take some of this. And let's take this. Let's go down like this. I'm going to go like that. And I am going to use... Uh, damn. Hold on. This is not going to look right if I cure it like this. It needs just a little bit more to fill up to get to the edges. Oh man. I'm gonna have to sand that off. That's okay though. Here we go. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I brought a flashlight in here. Um, 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 oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Okay, so I'm going to put this where I want it, perfectly center. And then I'm just going to hold it as I spot cure it. Let's spot cure this all the way around. I gotta be careful not to get any excess light out. <clears throat> this is not a very good UV light, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
get this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right over here. And so, this is, look, I love making mushrooms. I love making, you know, custom things, different things, stuff that people aren't making. Um, it's kind of my thing, um, glow-in-the-dark mushrooms, um, you know, anything related to that. Um, that's my jam. Okay. So now it still needs to cure more, but you can see it. And now what I want to do is I want to paint the gills on here. So I'm going to take some green glow. And Ashley gave me this idea. She said, why don't you just paint them on there? And I was like, that's a great idea. So this is not doing fine lines like like I would like, but it is going to put gills on it. This is going to be neat because it's going to be green glow in the dark on a blue background. So it's really going to pop. I think what I'd also like to do is connect all the way around. And I have never done anything like this. I mean, I have used these wood pieces and I made a couple really cool mushrooms um, that, that people liked and they ended up buying them. Um, they, were, they were pretty cool, pretty cool. I think this one's gonna be cooler though. All right, now let me take it, hit it. There we go. Found a support system for it. Okay, let's move on to this one. 
So in this one, I put the glow in the dark dots on the top. Um, and they're glow in the dark green. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the rest of this blue. So, and once again, this is, I'm using Azure Glow in the Dark Blue. Um, it's a dark blue. Okay. All right. Now, this one here. So, let's see. What else do I want to do? Let's go ahead while we're here. We'll do one of these. All right. And once again, always, always, always pop your bubbles. You don't want those in your... Bubbles are the worst when you have like a pattern like this. And then you, you know, you, you do your pour... And then all along the pattern, you have little bubbles, little dips, little divots. And when you try and paint it, your paint goes into little bubbles and it makes it, yeah, you just, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. Take the time to pull out your bubbles while you can. This one actually ended up with a lot of them. And I don't mind if they're in the resin, just so long as they're not in the little, on my lines. And making little chips in my lines. Because what I'd like to do is be able to go and put glow-in-the-dark powder in the lines. I think that that would look really cool, kind of like uh, Lord of the Rings style. Okay. Ooh, that's neat. Okay. So now, let me show you guys. Yep. I think that's good. I think it's good. Let's see. Oh, let's see. So let me let me show you it glow now, okay? Um, I need to hide my UV. So by hide my UV, I mean I'm going to take it and I'm going to put um, something over it just to cover it so that this UV light doesn't hit it. And now I'm going to turn off the lights, guys. Uh, this is going to shut off the UV too, but it's worth it. Look at that base. So you can see my paint job wasn't the best. It's not the coolest, but that's a cool little mushroom, man. I'm really, I'm happy with it. Okay. So now what I wanted to try and do is to paint, paint the, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I wonder if I could squeegee it off. I wonder if I could squeegee that. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, put the UV on there and then wipe it off. Hmm. Well, hold on. Let me, let's get onto this real quick. Okay, into here. 
And now I do have a little bit of this left over. And what I want to do is I want to make a little design. All right. Okay, so there's that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put green on top of it. So that we have a multicolor. And then we'll cook that. Look at this, guys. This is a dragon that's in the works. You guys may have seen me pour part of it. Um, I will be finishing it soon. Pink glow in the dark. Uh, I don't even know what else I added to it. A little special surprise. It'd be really cool. Um, all right, let's go guys. Mushrooms, mushrooms. And then what I think I'll do is probably put these on a tray. That's where they're gonna end up, is on a rolling tray, slash dab tray, or uh, you know, whatever kind of tray we end up making. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it like that. All right. You can see that glow. You can see it, guys. You can see it. All right. Now, let's get another layer here. And we got a couple little black specks here. I don't know where they came from. But, easy enough, we'll just pick them out, 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 debris, debris, debris. All right, now, next one is going to get this, okay, let me go ahead and position her. All right, and guys, this is such an easy project to do. Um, it's, I mean, as you can see, it's just some UV resin, some glow-in-the-dark powders, um, and a UV light, and boom, glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. Perfect for any occasion, except eating. Can't eat these ones, but they will light up your night for sure. Um, for those of you who have never used our glow-in-the-dark powders, our glow-in-the-dark powders are long life. So they'll glow. If you charge our green up to full charge in a pitch black room, it'll glow all night long. All right. This is, these are the best glow-in-the-dark powders that you can get. Um, unless you're going for military grade, which will glow. I, I, I think they have some stuff that glows like 72 hours. Um, but I don't know where to get that. I'd like to get some of that, for sure. All right. So I guess we're going to make a total of three of these. This one's number one. All right. This one's number two. Oops, it's not ready yet. We'll let that one cook just a minute longer.
And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jesse. I am Glowart AZ, and I'm also the founder and owner of Paduo Resin US. My wife and I run this um, this company um, from our home. Uh, we're a home-based company. We started this business during the pandemic because uh, we wanted to do something different with our lives. And so we decided, well, let's start a business. So that's what we did. And so that's, that's who we are and that's why we're here. Um, we are the face of Paduo Resin. Uh, we have an exclusive deal with Paduo Resin. Uh, we're the we're the only authorized distributor besides Amazon. So, for those of you who have purchased this product on Amazon, um, the manufacturer runs Amazon. We run the website, uh, Walmart.com. We have a space and um, Facebook and Instagram shops. Um, so let's see. Remember, this is blue. So now we're going to add a layer of green. So this one's going to be blue and green. Now the green might overpower the blue. Um, it's been known to do that since the green is so, so bright. Uh, but you should still be able to get a little hint of the blue. And guys, I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday night. It's either myself or my wife, Ashley. Uh, Sacred Seven Senses, and um, you know we're we're here and and we're sharing our knowledge and sharing our skills and sharing our techniques um, that we've learned along the way. Um, we are not exactly professional resin artists per se, meaning we don't know all of the skills, um, but as far as using this product. Uh, we got your back on that. We know this product inside, out, backwards, forwards. Um, yeah, we know this product really, really well. And so any issues you guys have, any problems, anything like that, we're here to help you. Okay, here's number two. All right. All right, and we'll, do, we'll turn off the lights here in a few and show you guys. Uh, what we've created um, this one here needs a stem um, let's see I think probably a thin stem so I have this one here but it's kind of all wonky there guess it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we can we can still use it let me see here let me see if I can cut it. Let's see. Yep, cut it. So I took a pair of scissors and snipped it off. Now it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you can go in here, put this like this. All right, we'll let that cook. And uh, I wanna let you guys all know that, um, here, while this is cooking, let's, let's flip this around real quick. Let's flip this around, let's see here. How do I do this? There we go. All right, so I wanna let you guys all know that um, we just launched a subscription service. So, um, and, and, we're, we're in the process of doing one for Paduo. Um, I'm working with the manufacturer right now on all the details. 
exactly how we're going to offer it and what we're going to do and where it's going to be hosted and stuff like that. But um, we did just launch a crystal subscription service. So those of you who love crystals out there, um, now's your chance. You can get into our subscription program and start collecting all of the crystals that we have. We have a bunch. I think we have 31 listed on the website right now, and that's not even all of them. Um, what we are doing is uh, the first box is like a cleansing slash protection uh, box. Um, it comes with clear quartz, um, black obsidian, selenite, black tourmaline, uh, and amethyst. So you get... Um, the, the large box is essentially three towers or like with the selenite, you get a, a moon. It's a selenite moon, so it's really pretty. Um, so with the, um, you get three main pieces and then you get two um, kind of mystery pieces. Like um, the first one, we have uh, amethyst point necklaces and, and black, uh, black tourmaline um, pendant necklaces. And so you get those with the first kit. Um, the second through the eighth kit are going to be um, chakra related. So it'll be, um, you know, the it'll start at the, the uh, root chakra and then we're going to work our way all the way up. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're really working really hard to plan out these boxes and um, try and give you a really good experience. Uh, if you get into it and you have a suggestion or maybe you don't like one of the crystals, we'll gladly replace it. We'll gladly help you. We'll gladly accommodate you um, for, you know, whatever you you want or you're looking for. Um, in addition, if you just want to deal on, on some towers, if you want to order some towers and you want to deal, just hit me up. Just message me. Uh, we got your back. Um, we are always here for you and we are always here to help make you happy. Um, you know, these, these, um, these crystals, we get them in bulk and so we buy them wholesale and, um, and then sell them to you guys. Um, that being said, if you want bulk crystals, uh, we got you back on that. We can sell them bulk. Okay. So here we go. Here's the third, third mushroom, third mushroom. Here we go. Oh, it's going small enough. All right, here's the third mushroom. One, two, three. Okay, third mushroom, third mushroom. All right, we got those dots in there. It doesn't feel real stable. Um, it probably needs to cure more. I know it does. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys. Uh, after the live, I will go ahead and cook these for a longer time and get them all nice and set up. But without further ado, let's make it glow. All right, we'll go off here, on here. So this is the one that we just did. This has the glow-in-the-dark green dots. And you can see we have a nice glow-in-the-dark mushroom. That thing is cool. I love it. It's got that azure glow, and then it's got those green dots. Just pops. Phenomenal. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next one. This is the second one that we made. Once again, you have the blue inside there and then the green on the bottom really pops, really bright. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then the first one that we made, oops. Here's the first one that we made where we put the, uh, attempted to make gills on the bottom. So you can see it's that beautiful azure. And then on the bottom you got those those green dots. Oh, sorry Facebook. 
Let me show you a little bit better. And then there. And so, there you go. Um, a half hour, some UV resin, uh, some glow in the dark powder from us. And we have just made three wonderful little mushroom creations. All right. And like I said, I'm going to take these, I'll probably put them on a tray, maybe one on a tray, one on another tray, etc. Um, and use those as just kind of little props for the trays. So, hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Once again, my name is Glowart AZ. Um, my other name is Jesse. <laughs> if you guys need anything, uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, messenger, messenger is the best. Um, but I do go through the Instagram also. Um, so, if you guys need anything, hit me up. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are all wonderful. Have a great night. Bye-bye.